January is just around the corner, you guys, and I know you guys put on some winter weight, at least I did. I put on a lot of winter weight during the holidays and just eating hella food. At my family's Thanksgivings and my, my girlfriend's Thanksgiving and just everything, just all piled on top, gained some winter weight, all right? And I know you did too, probably. And if you didn't, well, good for you. Regardless, you guys are gonna probably wanna start losing weight like everyone else when January hits. So this video is gonna help you guys figure out how to calculate your calories for cutting for when you guys wanna lose weight. Now, a quick disclaimer, you guys, if you have more than 50 pounds to lose, so if you are 300, 350 pounds, and you're trying to lose more than 100 pounds or 50 pounds, this video may help, but the formula isn't necessarily tailored to those of you who have to lose 50 pounds or more. So if you are trying to lose more than 50 pounds, more than 100 pounds, definitely check out my uh, macro calculator for those of you who are very overweight or obese. Definitely check out my calculator online. I'll also leave an example in the comments for you guys who have to lose a lot more weight. Um, but for those of you who are just like looking to lose under 50 pounds, this video is for you. Now to get started, you guys, all you're gonna need is to know your activity level and be truthful to yourself. If you just sit around at home all day, don't say you're very active. The second thing you're gonna need is your current body weight. And then finally, how fast you want to lose weight, whether that be super fast or just kind of fast, like a slow cut. All right, so let's get started. So first thing you need to do is figure out your activity level. Now, if you are very, very sedentary, which means like you're sitting at home all day, you work from home and you don't really get to move around that much, you play video games all day, you watch Breaking Bad or Game of Thrones all day, whatever it is, you're sedentary, okay? Choose 14, hold on to that number. Now, if you're a construction worker or you work retail and, and run around all day, or you're a server and you're on your feet all day and just running around and everything, choose 16 and if you're in between just choose 15. now what you're going to do is take your current body weight okay and multiply it by your uh, activity level multiplier so whatever you just chose whether that be 14 15 or 16 multiply your current body weight by 14 15 or 16. for example if you weigh 200 pounds currently multi and you're and you're in between just multiply 200 by 15. Whatever you guys get, that's gonna be your maintenance calories or your quote unquote TDEE, which stands for total daily energy expenditure. This is the amount of calories that you can technically eat, it's an estimate only, that you can eat and still maintain your current weight. Again, it is only an estimate. It is not perfect, it is not exact. We're just trying to get an estimate, an estimated number to see where you fall and we can adjust from there. All right, now that you have your TDEE, what you're gonna do is figure out how fast you wanna lose weight. Now, if you are hell bent on just losing weight, you don't care about anything else, then what you wanna do is then multiply your TDEE or your maintenance calories, the number you just calculated by either point 0.75 or 0 0.70, okay? So that means you're gonna either be in a 25 to 30% deficit. Now, I don't recommend the 30% deficit, but if you're just hell-bent on losing weight faster, try that out. Um, see how your body responds. I don't recommend it, so just just beware. But if you are trying to lose, a, a lose weight fast, I highly recommend a 25% calorie deficit, which again, multiply your TDE by 0.75. That will give you the calorie, the estimated calorie deficit that you need, that you're going to need while you're cutting to lose weight about one to two pounds per week. Now, on the other hand, if you're not in too much of a rush, or if you want to maintain a bit more muscle while cutting, then what you want to do is multiply your TDE by either 0 0.80 or 0.85. Now, what this is going to do is give you a 15 to 20 percent calorie deficit, depending on what you choose. Now, if my math is wrong, I'll correct it on the screen. But that is the uh, a calorie deficit that, that that is the calorie deficit that you're going to want to lose weight slowly and still maintain most of your muscle. That's going to be the best route for you guys. And there you have it, you guys. You guys have your calories. For cutting again you multiply your body weight by your activity level multiplier whether that be 14 15 or 16 then you choose how fast you want to lose weight whether that be multiplying your TDEE by a 0.75 or 0.70 that will give you a 25% deficit or a 30% deficit and then also if you want to lose weight slower you can do the point uh, the 20 percent deficit or the 15 percent deficit and lose weight a little bit slower whatever you guys choose that's how you do it if you guys like this video let me know leave a like leave a comment down below and if you have any questions leave a comment also and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video